the Straw Hat Grand Fleet was formed towards the end of Dressrosa. The members of the Grand Fleet swore their loyalty to Luffy and vowed to help him in the time of need. The Straw Hat Grand Fleet currently has seven members, Bartolomeo, Cavendish, Orlumbus, Don Sai, Ideo, Adrudin, and Leo. All seven members are rather well known throughout the One Piece world. However, there has been a lot of theorizing that more characters are gonna join the Straw Hat Grand Fleet. Back at Marina Ford, Myhawk said Luffy's greatest asset is his power to attract people to join him. Myhawk called it the most terrifying power, and it is pretty obvious that Luffy is going to meet a lot more people and they could end up joining the Grand Fleet. Here are 5 characters who might join the Grand Fleet and 5 who won't. Katakuri is the strongest sweet commander of the Big Mom Pirates. He was involved in a major tussle versus Luffy at Whole Cake Island. Katakuri possesses a special paramisha type devil fruit known as Maki Maki no Mi, and he has successfully awakened it. Katakuri has plenty of incredible feats to his name. He had a record of being undefeated until he faced Luffy. Katakuri's admiration for Luffy grew throughout their fight. Luffy and Katakuri both respect each other and if Big Mom falls during the Wano arc, it is very likely that Katakuri might ally with Luffy. Bo Hancock is a former Shikai Bukai and one of the strongest characters in the series. She is the captain of the Kuja Pirates and the ruler of Amazon Lily. Bo Hancock is capable of using all three types of haki, which makes her part of a very small list of characters capable of using all three haki types. Bo has a devil fruit that apparently has no weakness. She possesses the Mero Mero no Mi, that allows her to use the emotions of perversion. Bo is able to turn even non-living things to stone. We know that Bo loves Luffy and now that the Shikai Bukai don't exist anymore, I can totally see her joining the Grand Fleet. Whitebeard Pirates were left utterly humiliated after Marina Ford when the Blackbeard Pirates led by Marshal Dietrich dethroned them from the status of Yonko. The Whitebeard Pirates were led by the 1st Division Commander, Marco. After their defeat, Marco and crew disbanded. The whereabouts of most of the crew except Marco are unknown. Nakamamushi went to persuade Marco to join the Alliance, whether or that is going to be a success is currently unknown. Marco is smart and he knows that it will be sensible to help Luffy and Co in order to bring down Kato. Marco will also remember Ace's final wish, so he will very likely come to Wano and possibly join the Grand Fleet. Crocodile was the first Shikai Bukai that Luffy faced and to this date, he remains the only character who has defeated Luffy twice. Crocodile has the Tsunasuna no Mi, that grants him the power to control sand. Despite their differences, Luffy and Crocodile have already teamed up once at Marinley Ford. Crocodile even prevented the execution of Ace. He is somewhere in the new world right now and he definitely seems to be a character who still has a part to play in the series. It won't be all that surprising if he joins the Grand Fleet in the future. Born Clay started as the enemy of the Straw Hats, but since then he helped them countless times. He helped the Straw Hats to escape from Hina, and he helped Luffy to escape from Impel down to save Ace. Luffy respects Born Clay and he definitely won't forget his sacrifices. There is a good chance that Born Clay might join him as a member of the Grand Fleet. Endowed with the power of the Moku Moku no Mi, Smoker has risen through the ranks quickly. He has been chasing Luffy for quite some time now and he hasn't been successful at all. However, he
he doesn't completely detest Luffy as seen many times. Smoker knows that Luffy is not a regular pirate who enjoys pillage and torture. Despite all this, Smoker considers him an enemy and he will do everything in his power to stop Luffy. Known as the strongest swordsman in the world, Mihawk is one of the top tier characters in the series. He has the all-black blade called Yoru. He used to be rivals with Shanks before Shanks lost his arm. Mihawk's only goal in life is to fight strong people and he is expecting Zoro to provide him a challenge at some point in the future. Mihawk doesn't seem interested in having a crew and he is probably the only Shikai Bukai, who is happy that the organization was dissolved. Even though he respects Luffy's determination, he probably won't join the Grand Fleet. The main antagonist of Dressrosa, Doflamingo is a man with many secrets. Doflamingo hauls an interesting past, and he is one of the few people who have seen both the best and worst of life. Doflamingo can be considered the Avilis character in One Piece. He has no regard for the lives of other people except his family members. After being defeated by Luffy, he was left humiliated and it would be unlike him to help Luffy in the struggle to become the Pirate King. The former god of Skipaya is yet to make an appearance ever since Luffy defeated him. Anil has the power of the Goro Goro no Mi. He could possibly become a very strong enemy if he learns to use armament Haki. The reason that he won't join the Grand Fleet is pretty simple and that is because of his god complex. He won't be willing to join Luffy, whom he considers to be inferior. Anil will likely make a return sometime in the future but I doubt anything would have changed about his demeanor. Former Admiral of the Marines, Akiji is different from most of his former compatriots. He believes in lazy justice, which is unlike most Marines. Akiji left the Marines after he lost the fight versus Akanu. The biggest surprise was that he joined the Blackbeard Pirates. It was quite shocking considering that Blackbeard is a very notorious pirate. It just doesn't feel right that Akiji is working for Blackbeard, and it very likely that he's on an undercover mission, but either way he won't join another pirate alliance. <laughs>